Hello and welcome my homecoming leaves. So today we finally reach Paldia. I don't know why we just didn't start off there. It would have made sense given the games, but oh well, finally we're here. And we will basically see nothing of the region really, but oh well. We have arrived, give it time, we're starting out here. Episode 9. Arriving in Paldia. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait a minute. I thought your job was to protect Liko until she finds whatever she is searching for, not to bring her back home. Like, I thought you were just going here to talk to her mother to set up what to do now exactly, but... No, apparently your job was to drop her off home. Just that? That is all? Why make her live abroad in the first place then if you don't let her stay there for more than like a week? That doesn't really make much sense, I guess. Also, I always wonder where writers wanna lead us with stuff like that. Oh no, her journey is over. In episode 9. For the main character. Like, even a little child knows that this is not gonna happen and she will still go on the journey with the Voltekas here. So... Why not do it differently then? Really? I think sometimes you have to create drama even if it's obvious what's gonna happen in the end, though... In cases like these, it seems just unnecessary to be honest. And then this. Roy wants to go off the ship and look at Paldea, the whole country. To which Friede says, well, we're not here on vacation. But, like, I know he joined the Voltekas and is kinda part of this mission as well, though... He's also a young boy in a country he was never been before, so let him have some sightseeing. Especially as he really cannot help protect Liko from anything with just this, what, level 8 by now for Coco? Yeah, I mean, he can't really do much for this job, so let him live out his curiosity, come on, there's no hurt in that. And the first Pokemon we see after getting off of the airship is... Not a Paldean one. I mean, I guess these live in Paldea in the games as well, and you encounter them really early. That is, you encounter Hoppip really early. But you could have chosen a different one. Like, I don't know. Lechonk, for example. So they go to school. Well... Okay, I guess Liko does live in the city. And they call it the Orange Academy. So I guess we're playing Pokemon Scarlet here instead of Violet. Weirdly enough. I mean, they have to settle for one of the two academies. Or could have done a mixture. Like, maybe call it the Paldean Academy and it has a wing for the orange students and a wing for the grape students. Strunes. That sounds kind of delicious. Students, I mean, of course. Something like that. But I guess it's Scarlet time. So we're gonna go back to the past? Um, no. You should be careful. Because running around this motorcycle beast in the city... Yeah, it's kind of your fault if you run someone over. Especially as there was enough space and Roy couldn't really see you there. So... No, you be careful. So, bringing her home means going on a sightseeing trip through the city. Weren't you so urgent about this not being a vacation, Frida? And now this is what you're doing? Um, yeah. You might not be a good leader after all. So, they did try to call her house, but nobody took the phone. That is why they didn't go there, instead doing the sightseeing stuff. But her father might still be in, even though if he doesn't pick up the phone, he does that sometimes, apparently. Back's the question, though. You could still have gone to her home, because she probably does have a key for that, right? Even when living abroad, wouldn't you still have the keys for your actual home? I mean, I definitely would. It's not like I moved for moving, 
I'm just studying a boat and not like living there forever now. Meanwhile, Dot's costume stinks. So, Liko's house is Nimona's house. Which makes Nimona her sister, maybe? That would be interesting and unexpected, but I kind of have a feeling that isn't the case. Will Nimona even appear? Yeah, a little spoiler alert. She will next episode. I guess it's not much of a spoiler because the preview shows it. So, huh. I wonder how that will go. And to your right, you see the rare specimen of a protagonist's father. Usually, protagonist fathers are at the verge of dying out, so you don't see them all that often. But we have managed to find a living specimen of one, which is Liko's father. Liko apparently also has a mother, though we did not see her until now. That might beg the question that maybe, in her case, the mother is actually never to be seen. And Liko's father is a painter, like the paintings you can find in Nemona's house as well. He seems to like fire Pokemon more than others though. Well, according to these two pictures, but like... If you have drawn more than fire Pokemon, why would you hang two fire Pokemon like this next to each other? Wouldn't you want to mix it up? I am overanalyzing here. Oh, Liko's mother's out on a field trip. Is she in the end one of the teachers? That would be interesting. Yeah, Sprigatito seems really unhappy with the whole situation. I think it might be because Liko has a different Pokemon here, but no, it turns out it will be something else. That being Liko just behaving weirdly because, yeah, obviously she wants to stay with the Rising Voltakers and not stay home here. Now, wait a minute. You're saying it's quite far, but you think she could commute to school from here. You're not talking about the school in Kanto, are you? Because that commute would be, like, a bit of a long trip. I think he's talking about Orange Academy. Hopefully. Oh look! Sprigatito's a typical cat, sleeping somewhere where you don't expect it to sleep. Huh. It's so cute how Roy carries the sleeping fur Coco on his back. That's all I wanted to say at this scene. Because, well, yeah. Obviously Liko also feels weird because Sprigatito didn't want to come with her back to the ship and stuff, but... Yeah, let's focus on the cute, cute fur Coco there. But yeah, that's what I meant. They do understand each other, so it's not jealousy. There's something else going on. And yeah, she doesn't even realize the costume hanging there. Which would tell her that Dot definitely is that Nido thing thing. I really like the name Nido thing. Except she does see it and then doesn't think about it much because she is busy with other stuff. Kind of makes sense, even. At least it's funny. And then a Chunk steals the coffee beans she has brought for her father. Oh no! I hope she catches it. That would be interesting. Spoiler, she doesn't catch it. But she does battle it and easily defeats it, which makes her and Sprigatito friends again. Okay, weird, but, well, I guess she realized something and Sprigatito sees that she did. Or something like that. But yeah, she realizes that she wants to go on an adventure, which I thought was her plan all along. Didn't she say that before? But well, here we go. And she tells her father, who is pretty much cool with it. Even though he is worried, he doesn't stop her, which... Yeah, that's actually just good parenting. You can be worried as a parent. That doesn't mean you should stop your children from doing what they want, just because it might be dangerous or something. No, be supportive. And, well, someone, apparently the gym leader of a certain grassy town in this region, has heard of the Black Rayquaza, according to Liko's father. So, there's a direction they are set to go now, and thus ends the episode, with this honestly very, very adorable little picture. I would want, like, a high-quality version of this picture, but 
I doubt we will get that. Too bad. So, yeah, my thoughts on this episode... I cannot really say it was bad. It was kind of a bit on the boring side, but it also was a setup episode for what's to come next. I guess the next episode will be much more exciting, and sometimes you need episodes like this. So, while I thought it was a bit boring, it was also a necessary one, so... Yeah, it's okay, I'll give it a pass. But. What are your thoughts about this episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? I also thought it was boring, maybe? Tell me all of that down in the comments below. I'm looking forward to seeing those. Also, while you are down there, you should not forget to get some coffee beans by clicking the like and subscribe button as well as that little bell to keep updated whenever I upload a video for you. And go down in the description below to my Twitter and Instagram, as well as Discord, where I keep you updated, post stuff, all the good things, to my Humble Bundle affiliate link, where you can support me, like, completely free of charge. If you buy a game there via this link, I'll just get a cut of that, without you needing to pay anything more than that shown there. So, that and my Twitch, never forget my Twitch, where I live stream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. I hope to see you over there as well, and until next time, bye me!